Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you from start to finish how you can set up your Google Ads account and create your very first Google ad via Google AdWords and start running advertisements on Google for your product or service. This is going to be a full start to finish tutorial. I will have timestamps down below if you're getting hung up somewhere and you just need to jump to a certain section of the tutorial because this might be a rather long video so you can bounce back and forth and come back to sections that maybe you're struggling with so first things first you must have a google or gmail account in order for this to work that should be obvious but i do want to let folks know you need to have a gmail account now i already have a google ads account but for the purposes of this tutorial i've actually created a brand new gmail account so i can show you start to finish what this will look like so what you're going to want to do once you've logged into your Gmail account is go to adwords.com. So just type in www.adwords.com. And then once there, you'll see a couple of options here. The one that you want is to sign in. So if we go to sign in, you'll then be directed to sign in with whatever Gmail account that you're currently logged into. I'm on Google Chrome, but this works the same for Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, Safari. It really doesn't matter. All right, once we're here, we then want to click the new Google Ads account. This will then create a new Google Ads account for us. If we already have a, a Google Ads account and we just need to log into that, uh, and if you know, we're logged into the wrong Gmail account, we can click on the switch Google account option here. So we're going to go to new Google Ads account. It will then populate everything from our Gmail account. And then what we see here uh, is we can then walk through what is called their setup or whatever you want to call their setup process. Now, you can see that what do you want to promote? Do you have a website, your business profile, whatever it may be? So let's just say for the purposes of this video that it is a website. Now, what I recommend that you do is you go ahead and switch over to expert mode. If we switch to expert mode, it will skip all of that and will allow us to go into some more detailed things as we're setting up our account. So as you can see here, when we switch over to expert account, we can then select the goal uh, for this specific campaign. Now, there are campaigns, then there are ad groups, and then there are keywords. So you can have multiple campaigns within your AdWord account, and you can also have multiple ad groups within a specific campaign. And as we progress through this tutorial, you will then see kind of what I'm talking about. All right, so for this campaign, I am trying to get leads. I'm trying to sell, just so you know, uh, I'm a podcaster. I edit podcasts for folks. And so I'm going to be going ahead and promoting my podcast services. So if I go to leads here, I want to get folks to be my you know, new customers. I'll click that there. And I want to uh, go ahead and target them uh, by search. Now we can do display. So we can basically, uh, you know, display is more kind of imagery, more visual. And then we have smart shopping, video, and discovery. Again, for the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to stick with search. Display and the other different ad types work very similar as far as the ad groups and keyword research and things like that. So just select search for the time being, and then we'll go from here. Now, if you are selling a product, you may want to select display, uh, but search again is very, very good for that as well. So depending on what you've selected up here, you may want to kind of adjust what campaign type you have there. Next, we have select the ways you'd like to reach your goal. Do we want a number of website visits, phone calls, store visits, app downloads, whatever it may be. We're going to go to uh, website visits here, and then we're going to type in our web address here. So again, this is just a way of monitoring the success of the campaign. You can select multiple ones here. So if we also want phone calls, we can select that, put your phone number here. So if you have different metrics that you want to measure, you can select those here. Next, we'll have something that says start tracking your leads as website conversions. Unless you really know what you're doing here, I wouldn't dive into this, but you can select that there. And then you can basically install a HTML code on your website to kind of see and track how many conversions you're actually getting to kind of fine tune the actual metrics of how well the ad or the ad group is converting. I wouldn't mess with this unless you just want to. Campaign name, we're going to name this one Tutorial 001. Once you've given the campaign a name, go ahead and click the blue continue option here. Now, you've just created your first campaign. 
You didn't create any ads yet. You can have multiple ads within a specific campaign that are targeting slightly different audiences. So understand that as well. Once you've done that, you'll be then directed to the general settings for this campaign. Basically, it's a rundown of exactly what you've just set up with some more fine tuning. So if we scroll down here, we can see that we can go into targeting and audiences. So we can actually target specific areas around the world. So we can target just the United States, just the United States and Canada, or we can click the location options here and we can even fine tune it even more by adding in specific locations by going to advanced search here and then going on the map and, and selecting exactly where we want to target. Now, for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to be selecting the United States, but obviously you want to select the location that's going to serve your product or service the best, okay? Under target here, we have presence or interest, people, you know, people, or you got presence or search and interest. Read these and see which one is applicable to your service or your product. Now, languages for me, it's going to be English, but if you're running ads in a different language than English, you obviously want to type in and search for the different language that you may be running your ad in. Next, we'll have audiences. Select audiences to add to your campaign. Now, again, this one here is if you've already set up previous audiences, you can do that via audience manager. We're not going to dive into that today because Google already does a very good job of targeting the folks you want to target, but just know that you can even dive deeper into that and create different audiences that have certain, I guess you would say, actions that they do on the internet. So say you wanna target females age 18 to 35 that are on Facebook, three hours that you know you can do that by fine tuning your audiences with your audience manager all right next very important option here budget and bidding now when it comes to running ads on google you have something that's called cpc and we're about to get down to that here very quickly once we set a budget but that's basically your cost per click so every time somebody googles something and they click on that so if i go to google right now so i'm going to go to google right now and i'm going to type in podcast editing now, as you can see, all of the ones that have ad next to them, these are search ads like the one that we're setting up now. If we click on one of these, this service or this person here is going to pay a specific amount every time someone clicks on this ad. That's the cost you're paying for having your service or your product up at the top of Google. Again, that's what we're doing. That's the whole purpose of what we're doing, right? So cost per click. Now, under budget, so we're gonna hop back over to our campaign now. Right here under budget, you'll have your currency, whatever currency you are going to be paying in, and then you set your budget. My recommendation here is to start low and then to increase as you become more comfortable and you see what is working for your particular campaign for your product or service. So I'm going to start mine at five, maybe $10. We'll go ahead and set that for $10. Now, this is per day. So what is your budget that you want to spend per day? So this is your daily budget, okay? Uh, next, we have bidding. What do you want to focus on? Conversions, conversion value. We'll say clicks because we want to uh, get as many folks over to our page as possible. And then if you wanted to, what we could do is we could even go to set a maximum cost per click bid limit. So let's say you didn't want to pay any more than a dollar per click or 50 cents per click. You would just type in that max amount that you would want there. You'll have something that has highlighted here that says you've chosen to focus on clicks, uh, but your account tracks conversions. You could get more conversions by choosing to focus on those conversions. Now, this is just for the purposes of this video. Now, I would obviously go to you know conversions as opposed to clicks, but I do wanna show you how all of this stuff works. You can actually click on select a bid strategy directly and you can go and, and change that. So we can maximize clicks, or if you wanted to, you can set your budget to be $5 or $10 per day, maximize clicks, don't set a maximum cost per click, and then as you analyze and see how your campaign performs, you can then say, oh my goodness, some of these clicks are costing me two or three bucks. And depending on the niche or the space that you're in, those may you know, fluctuate with time and time of year. Closer to the holidays, more people are running ads, maybe the budget can go up and the cost per click goes down. Just understand that as well. Next, we have ad extensions. Now, for 15% higher click-through rate by showing additional information on your ads. Now, what are extensions? If we go back over here to Google, you can see this one right here just has the ad itself in a little description with a phone number and URL. But this one at the very top has a couple of subsections here. Choose your package testimonials. That would be an extension. So if you want it to look a little better, a little call out extension, you can do that here. For the simplicity's sake, we're going to skip that for the video. Next, we're going to go to save and continue to further our progress here in the campaign editor. 
Now we're going to get to where we can start targeting our ads via ad groups. Now, with this specific thing that I'm trying to target, folks who have a podcast who are looking for people to edit their podcast, I may have ad group one that targets someone looking to set up a podcast. And then ad group two might be someone who already has a podcast. They're out of time. They want to outsource kind of what they're doing. Okay. So understand that you could have multiple ad groups targeting slightly different audiences as the time progresses. All right. So we're going to go to ad group one. We have our URL here, and then we can enter our products or services here. So let's just say podcast editing. So we'll go ahead and do that there. So podcast editing, or we could even go to podcast setup if that's something that we want to do as well. Now we can click on the update keywords option and then go to yes, replace, uh, and then it will populate what they think to be some of the things that uh, folks are searching for. Now, in the beginning, I would kind of trim this down to be as few or as little as possible, because if you start targeting a, a broad scope of keywords here, what begins to happen is you're getting, you're casting a wide net. And a lot of those folks on the outside of that net who aren't at the center of who you're trying to get to purchase your product or service have no desire. So you're going to be paying for them. You're going to be paying for that click, but not getting someone to kind of purchase or dive in to your service. Okay. So I may go in here and say, okay, these first two look good. Okay. We'll remove this option here. Um, we'll go and remove a couple of options here. Uh, remove this one. And then once you get the uh, amount of keywords that you want to target here, then you can move on. Now, a pro tip here, uh, sometimes you could even misspell a word that you know commonly may be misspelled to even capture those folks. But again, I would follow the, the, the basic rules here of kind of start minimal and then kind of go broader as you kind of get more comfortable. Like I've said throughout this tutorial, if we want to create a new ad group, we can just click the new ad group option here and go to ad group two, but I'm not going to do it for the time's sake and for simplicity of this video. If you want to remove an ad group, you just click the trash can icon there and then that removes that ad group. Just like with anything over here on the right hand side, it shows you for ad group one, the average cost per click for that ad group is going to be around $5 and 79 cents. I found this to not be very, very accurate. Um, especially until you start running ads, as you begin to run ads, you'll get a much better grip on what the average cost per click is going to be, but it does show you, you are, have a budget of $10 per day and you would only get two clicks if you, you know, stuck with this budget. But again, this is just an estimate. I found this to not be highly accurate until we start running ads, go to save and continue to move onward to the next step, which is the fun of creating our first ad. So this is a search ad. Obviously, this is what it's going to look like on a mobile device. You can see what it's going to look like on a mobile device and on a desktop by just going through here and selecting mobile device right here is the phone icon or the desktop icon by selecting the little computer icon here, and it will show you exactly what that looks like. Okay. So first things first, you'll have your final URL destination. If anything is incorrect, or you see something with a yellow or orange exclamation point, you probably want to hover over that and see what you've done incorrectly to see what we can do to improve that. And in this case, I just need to add the HTTP at the beginning of my URL. All right. Then what we have here is the display path. Now, if you ever have questions of what anything is, you can just always click on the question mark here and it tells you exactly what this is. A display path would be if you want to show kind of like these breakdowns down below, like choose your package testimonials, you could have different options here and you're limited to 15 characters if that is what you want to do. Now, next we're going to have our headlines. Okay. So it gives you kind of for optimal performance, kind of what they suggest that you do. Um, so what I'm going to do is create my headline now. So for me, I have done podcast editing done right. Okay. And then we have a couple of other headlines here. A lot of these things you might want to put like a number or you might want to put something very, very, very spicy, something that, that would very much catch the attention of the target audience or person you're trying to reach. All right. So you have a bunch of options here where you can type in different headlines. As you can see, I've typed in podcast editing done right. And then quick turnaround. So I know that folks searching for podcast editing are wanting a quick turnaround time because they're wanting to get their podcast or their show out. 
And then so I've put that as a headline. You can go here below and you can continue to type in different headlines and they will they will kind of rotate and populate through the ad and you can see which one works the best. Um, all right, so under the descriptions here, what we will have is we can you know see that we have what's already auto populated here. So I'm just gonna leave that the same except for this one here because it doesn't make sense. Uh, so we have podcast editing starts at 20 per episode and podcast setup starts at $50 per podcast. So those would be our descriptions. That is what comes up as you can see here underneath your ad. This text here is going to be the description that you're adding here within your ad option. Now under ad description, uh, I wouldn't, you know, again, I wouldn't go more there under ad URL options. You can add tracking URLs. This is more advanced stuff that we can cover in another tutorial, but this is the basics of creating an ad and seeing kind of what it looks like. I would play around with this. Remember, you don't want to be, you don't want to do clickbait. You don't want to false advertise here, but you do want to have some types of words that are, that are, that are catchy, that will grab the attention, uh, quick turnaround, free shipping, um, you know, whatever it may be, things that, you know, will kind of gather or garner the attention of your audience. Now, once you've created your first ad, what you then do, scroll down to the bottom, go to save and continue. As you can see here, we have a uh, ad up here. If it's got a red border around it, I did this on purpose. It's showing you that there is something wrong with that ad. So right here, it says too few elements in the collection. So what it's telling you is, is that you need to have more headlines. So I'm going to do that now. Once you've corrected whatever may have been wrong, you will then be prompted to the payment information page. Got a little bit of a pro tip for you here. Go ahead and set up your options here and set up kind of your, your information here. But then when you go uh, to basically add your information there, if you're a new user, there will be an option here that says enter promo code. If you go to Google and you just Google um, Google ads, Google AdWord promo, a bunch of them will come up. Just select them like this one here, free $100 Google AdWords coupon promo code. Select that, copy that code, and then back over here, insert that code, and you'll get $100 for free of ad spend. And that'll kind of give you a little bit of a, a barrier or a, a kind of a, a bridge to get you to where you want to be, and you'll have $100 to play around with to see what works best for you. So go ahead and type in the information in your card details here to get all of that stuff done the right way. You can select either credit or debit card or PayPal or a bank account. Just, re just remember that if you don't do a PayPal or a, a credit or debit card, if you do a bank account, you may have to confirm that and it could take two to five days before you could start running your ad. Once you've set up your billing, you're done with the, the little process that they walk you through. So now we can go to explore your campaign and this is where all of the fine tuning will take place. So now we are in our campaign and remember what I told you at the top of the video, there are campaigns and then there are ad groups and then there are ads within those specific groups. So right here under overview, we'll be able to see that our campaign is enabled. Uh, it is active if it's green here. So you can see that is enabled and active, uh, but we can go here and go to our ad groups. So if we go to ad groups, we have ad group one. Uh, so if we select ad group one, we will see all of those keywords that we added or inserted down below. Uh, and then if we want to change those, we can go here and add or hit the addition symbol to kind of add keywords to the list if that's something that we want to do. So you can always go into this option here and you can always go and, and see what's working and what's not and make changes if that's something that you want to do. So right here, we'll see our campaigns. Uh, this is kind of the overhead view of our campaign and what it looks like. Uh, we have our $10 per day budget. We have our green dot here showing that it is enabled. If you want to pause a campaign or remove one, you can just select that there, go to pause, and then you can see that it's no longer running. Same thing goes for here. Click the drop down menu, go to pause, and it will no longer be enabled. And it will no longer be running on Google until you select the drop down menu, go to enable, and you're good to go. Just remember that this is a daily budget. Also remember that it may not begin running until uh, the payment you know, method that you chose is you know, connected and Google also has to approve your ad. So you have certain words that they don't want you to use, or there may be certain imagery that you can't use. Google has to approve your ad. You'll get an email saying, Hey, your ad was approved. It began running. And then as people begin to click on your ads, you'll see that here. And then the impressions are how many times Google has served that ad. And then the CTR is the percentage of folks who are clicking through to your ad who have been served or have had an impression of your ad. Now that's the basics, that's the overview, that's the tutorial going from start to finish, showing you how to set up your first Google ad and your first Google AdWord campaign. If you have any further questions, please put those in the comment section down below. I'll get to those as soon as I possibly can. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.